pretty did Demi Lovato look? She looked very pretty. And I, for the record, I would do that. Oh, really? Yes, I would have, I need a bigger size. I would have worn that. Really? I would have done a little hand mode. Yeah, thank you. It's yeah, I would touch back and say, I said, I, she looked really pretty. And they were like, yeah, she did. I go, I was a little jealous when I, well, I mean. I think you would be pretty too. I think I would too, and I thank you for that. All right, well, you know what? You've just put yourself into that situation, and so when we ask you, you have to say yes. I will, I will jump at the Really? Chance. I don't know what's wrong with me. Something's really yeah. wrong with me. I had a Red Bull backstage. Have you, um, <laughs> that makes you want to wear a ball gown? I, I don't know. <laughs> What's that got to do with it wearing a ball gown? Make commitments I shouldn't be making. Well, you're going to you're, you're making it. Hey, you're from Houston, right? I am. And are you? Uh, how do you feel about uh, the World Series? Are you I into feel, it? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. I'm into it. I'm into it. I. I know um, you're a tennis fan. I don't know yeah, about baseball. Yeah, I do, and I do like tennis more than baseball. No offense, baseball players. Um, but uh, but no. I mean, I think the postseason's exciting no matter what. You know, when I lived yeah. in New York for so long, the Yankees were in almost every year, and it was it's just fun to be a part of it. Um, yeah. But uh, no, Houston's been great this year, and it's very nice, especially after the hurricane and everything. It's yeah. It reminded me of the whole when New Orleans, when the Saints won the Super Bowl after right. Katrina. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's it's kind of got that feeling to it. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's I know because you know even though I of course want the Dodgers to win because it's Los Angeles, right. I feel bad about Houston and I want. But... <laughs> All right. But they don't even. All pay... right, you've made your point. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> I'm talking about the hurricane. They don't even care. Yeah, Dodgers! <laughs> so, but you've posted a picture of uh, the pitcher. I, Justin and, Verlander, yes. yes. Well, this is probably my biggest interest in it this year. I happen to work out with, hey, there you go. I work out with the same trainer. I don't work out with Justin. But I work out with the same trainer that Justin uh, works out with. And I met him at the, at the gym. And he was the nicest human being. So, and so you became friends? Well, not close, no. But. Well... <laughs> We were in the gym at the same time. I see. So, I, see. I see. <laughs> to me, we're very close yeah, now. I yeah. see. Well, he would he would probably be you know glad to be your he friend. Is, I think he'd be fine with it, you yes. know. But he hasn't been ringing. Did you down find my phone, yourself no. uh, competing like with whatever oh, God, workout? Oh no, Ellen, no, no. I'm not a fool. I don't want to embarrass myself. Other than a ball gown, I don't want to embarrass myself yeah, I, by I, working out yeah, in front of a yeah. Cy Young winner. No. Yeah. By the way, you, you mentioned uh, your husband. Uh, since I saw you last, yeah. you got married. Congratulations. Well, I mean, how long have y'all been together? Fifteen years this this November. Yeah, I'll tell. I could only come out here and have you nag me about it so many more damn times before we finally put a ring well, on it. I just thought you should. No, I uh, no. And, and, and I'll be honest with you. It was really, really special. It changed. I know it, people you said think, it would, and it's true. Yeah, it really does feel different when you're married. And, and it's I, profound. It's hard to put words on it because it's like the day to day doesn't change. I mean, right. that's why you did it. You love the day to days with them, but there is something about it. I, I do treasure, too, we have been together 15 years, and getting married at that point was, I can't imagine what it must be like to get married a year into it. There's nothing wrong with it. That's not a judgment call, but, like, it's so different than my experience, and especially when I think of in my mid-40s doing this, when I think of my parents... My mother was 21. My father had to have his parents sign for him because he was 20 and not legally... He couldn't sign his own marriage license, wow. and I'm like... Do you know what I was doing at 20 and 21? And yeah. shh, don't tell anyone. I was not getting married. I was not. I couldn't even pick what liquor to drink, much less my life partner. You know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Well, there's no need to pick a liquor. You can drink anything you want. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no now, will you? Will, do you want kids? Do both of you, or do you both agree on not dogs. having kids? Dogs are fine with that's, me. Dogs. That's, okay, so you have two dogs. I, do, I two saw dogs. the pictures. Yeah. And that's all you have is the two adorable dogs. Yeah. There they are. Yeah, the white one is Otis on, uh, you know, I don't know which side, you might are right, you're right. Well, well, you just a, say white, I think we'll know dog, which you're one. right, that yes. makes the point. Uh, he, he'll, be, he'll be 14 this month, and then Rufus is the other one, the Shih Tzu, and he's eight. And, and do, they're tiny little dogs. Yeah, do you live in a safe small. neighborhood? Uh, n well, I mean, we keep them in the house. No, you have to watch them like hawks. Yeah. Coyotes, coyotes, coyotes. It's not even just coyotes. We've had a bobcat. We've had a fox. We've had, I don't know if the rats would be a problem, but I've seen rats. Where do you, do you live in the hills? 
I'm in, not even that hill. I'm, I am up a little bit, but not even that far. We're not far from Griffith Park, which I oh, think is part of our problem. that's where all the coyotes are. They would absolutely take one of them. Yeah, for sure. You have run. to be careful. I almost got one in my car because I thought it was a stray dog, and I had the You're door kidding. open, and I was trying to get it in. And then I got home, and someone called me and said, be careful, there's a, a coyote loose. And I was like, oh, that's what that was. Almost like, my pet. <laughs> I had the door open and everything. I felt so bad for but it. But you do feel bad for them. They're yeah. only out because, like you say, they're starving. Yeah. They don't want to be running around the daytime. No, they don't want to be in your neighborhood either. They want trees and grass yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, Andy, we have to take a break. <laughs> so pushy around here. Yeah. Hi, Ian. Hi. Hi. I was a fan of, uh, of Big Little Lies, and you were in that, and I thought you were fantastic in that. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, well, you're welcome. I'm, I'm a little scared because I had it all perfectly worked out what I was going to say, and now I just all forgot it, so just Oh, uh, really? With me. Well, then I'll just ask you questions, and you can answer them. I didn't know you okay. had something prepared, but if it mm, comes to you, then you I mean, even that was not good. <laughs> <laughs> That was fine. I think it was a raging success, Ian. Yes. Raging success. You're being very honest. That's all, that's all we care about. So uh, what is it like working with Jim and, and playing him as a young Jim? I'm going to be honest. Or a young Sheldon. I'm going to be honest. It is tremendous, and he is incredible, and he is awesome, and I love him so much. And he's such an incredible Sheldon coach, which is sort of a given. Um, you don't need much coaching. <laughs> Oh, look at us working together. Yeah, look at you. Aww. Those are the days. So he's you're off on your own. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you're really enjoying it. <laughs> I am really enjoying it. That's great. Yes, it's and really you're fun. a nice guy. I heard that your mom said you can keep acting as long as you remain a nice guy. Yes, and that's, that's it's sort of perfect for me because I love being kind and I love acting. So, sort of a wonderful Aww. Thing. Thank you. Well, then I think you're going to have a long career. All right, so you met Oprah. She's, she's. I did. Yeah, what was yeah. that like? So when I met Miss Oprah, oh. I, yeah, she's incredible. One of the main, I've always wanted to meet her. She's incredible. Yes. Just like I've always wanted to meet you. And I'm Sh sure. <laughs> but, um, so I went up to her, but I also thought, my grandmother, Mame, I call her, be, um, she loves Oprah. So I thought, if I can get that picture, I can maybe just make her envious. Yeah, she, she's even right there. She's in your, the audience. Yeah, your grandmother's here. Yeah. 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 But um, I was just like, Yep. It's just like, I gotta get that picture. And then I got the kiss, which was even better. Well, it, it looks more as if she's smelling your face, but she's, <laughs> that's what she's known for. You know, she loves to smell people's faces. Or kiss, either one. All right, maybe she was kissing you, I don't know. <laughs> Young Sheldon airs Thursday nights on CBS after the Big Bang Theory. We'll be right back.